Hey guys, Ryan here. So today I'll be showcasing my manga collection for the end of 2020. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start off with One Piece, my all-time favorite manga series. So I have volumes 1 all the way down to 70. And yeah, as you can see, I have figures of Zoro, Luffy, Nami, Sabo, Ace. I can grab him real quick. There he is. And at first, I wasn't into One Piece. I've seen it for the longest time and I wasn't into the art style. And a few years ago I gave it a chance and it instantly became a favorite of mine. And now it has become my all time favorite manga series. There's like 95 volumes, nearly a thousand chapters, and it's still going strong, which is great to see. And it's just such a fun adventure that you're going on. And you're meeting all these different characters going to all these different places it's just a lot of fun I love the art style and the double fruit powers are all different which is cool to see and there's like a bunch of movies for this One Piece Stampede is my favorite anime movie of all time I saw it in theaters when it was in theaters and yeah we're getting like a novel which is like Ace's side story which is cool so yeah One Piece is great I could talk about it all day like the arcs are fantastic. My favorite arc so far would have to be Water 7 slash Annie's Lobby. And yeah, that is One Piece. So moving down here, we got Fire Force. And I have volumes 1 to 17. And this is by the same person who made Soul Eater. And I like it even better than Soul Eater. And it's a world where there's like these characters that have fire powers. And it's the job of the Fire Force to take out these fire demons. And I really like Shinra. He's the main character who always smiles in the face of danger. The anime is awesome. The manga is too. So I definitely recommend it. Alright, next we got is Orange the Complete Collection. Volumes 1 and 2. I think there's like 5 volumes or so in total. At the end of Volume 2 is some like extra manga stuff. That's not necessarily related to the, the actual manga. And yeah, there was... An anime adaptation for this, and I really enjoyed it. I like the manga even better. So, yeah, it's basically about this girl named Naho who gets the letter from herself 10 years in the future, and she's basically trying to save this kid in her class. And it's really interesting. Definitely recommend it. Alright, so next we got is My Hero Academia, and I have volumes 1 to 25, and you can see all my My Hero Academia figures. So yeah, we got Deku, All Might, Toroki, and more. And yeah, My Hero Academia has such a big diverse cast with menacing villains, really cool powers, and it's really interesting to see Deku trying and learn to use his powers and without hurting himself. And to get better at being a hero and becoming a pro hero at UA. And there's a few movies from My Hero Academia, and I like the second one even better than the first. It's called The Two Heroes, and it's a great movie. Um, I like Dragon Ball Super Broly, One Piece Stampede, and then My Hero Academia, The Two Heroes. So those are some of my all-time favorite anime movies. And then, of course, all the Ghibli movies. Anyways, that's it for this shelf, so let's move on to the next. All right, so now we're on my bed bookshelf, and we got Yu Hakusho, volumes one, all the way down to 19. So this is complete, and the same person who made this also made Hunter x Hunter, which happens to be my favorite anime of all time. And yeah, we have Yu Hakusho here, like I said, and I've seen some of the anime for it, and I really enjoyed it. And yeah, there is a Blu-ray for it that you can buy and I've seen some of the anime from the Funimation app while I had a free trial and I really enjoyed it it's definitely a classic for sure and I would definitely recommend checking out the anime I definitely need to read this whole thing since I have the whole series which is great to have and um, yeah that's Yu Hakusho alright so moving on here we got Hunter Hunter and there's this main character named Gon, and he goes on a hunter exam. He's trying to find his dad and become a, a pro hunter. 
He makes friends along the way with, like, Kropika, Leorio, Killua. They all become his friend, which is great. And, yeah, there's, like, menacing villains with, like, Krollo, Miriam. And I really like Netero. He's a really cool guy. And we got Krupka here, my figure, with his red eyes and Nen chain. And, yeah, there's like 148 episodes for this. I have the first 33 volumes so far. And I would highly recommend checking out Hunter x Hunter, either through reading the manga or through watching the anime. I started off by watching the anime, and then I got all the manga that was currently out a few years back. So yeah, that's it for this shelf, so let's move on to the next. Okay, so moving on, we got Blue Exorcist, Volumes 1, all the way down to 19. So I'm currently on Volume 11, where I'm reading right now, and this has two seasons for the anime. I can't wait till we get a third season. That'll be awesome. And yeah, it's great with every volume. When you open it up, you actually get a color page. as you can see, which is great to have. The main character, his name is Ren, and he has a brother named Yukio, and he's the son of Satan. He wants to become a, a pro exorcist, and he wants to kick Satan's butt, basically. He makes friends along the way, like Shura, um, Bon, Shimmy, to name a few. And he goes to exorcist school, and it's like his adventure is doing that. And I really like the art style for this, and I can't wait till we get a third season. I know there's a movie for it, but I haven't seen it. And yeah, I would definitely recommend Blue Exorcist. It's a great series. All right, so moving on here, we got IQ Volumes 1, all the way down to 21. So the manga ended for this recently, and yeah, IQ is definitely my favorite sports series of all time. It's amazing. It has such great character development and character building. And you really feel like you're on a team with these guys, which is the team of Kurosano. And you're playing matches against other schools. And in the manga, the action is done really well. It, um, so, like, when the volleyball is moving, you can really feel the speed of the volleyball and, like, the speed of Hinata. And Hinata is the main character in this. And in middle school, he goes against... Tobio in a match of volleyball and he loses and then they end up on the same team in high school which is hilarious seeing the reaction to that I love the openings the characters the character development and it's just a really fun series and it's my number two manga series my number two favorite all right so moving down here we got the seven deadly sins volumes one all the way down to 35 and I really like the art style for this. It's drawn really well. And there's these some deadly sins that get blamed for this crime. And they're on the run. And there's these holy knights that are after them. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but these connected spines are great. Dragon Ball does the same. And yeah, some deadly sins is a series that's also on netflix it's a netflix original so you can watch it there the manga ended for this with like 40 ish volumes and yeah there is the anime for it and it's still going on so yeah that is the summary sins and I actually dressed up as meliotis the main character that was fun so yep that's the seven deadly sins and i can't wait to complete it all right, next we got is Kuroko's Basketball, and I have Omnibus 1 and 2, but it's not on this shelf currently. And I have volumes 1 to 18, and these are in Omnibus form. That would have been cool if we had gotten the single editions for this, but I'm glad we got Kuroko's Basketball anyways, because it's a great basketball series. The main character, Kuroko, isn't really noticeable, and in middle school... He's on this team of prodigies, which are like amazing players. And they split off 
form their own teams in high school and they compete against each other. And Kuroko can pass really well because no one really notices where he is. It's really funny. Like People are like, where's Kuroko? And then he's just standing there the whole time. So yeah, that is Kuroko's Basketball. It's very entertaining. I've seen all the anime for it. And there's like a movie for it too. And I would definitely would love to collect all of this series. All right. And then moving over here, we got One Punch Man. And the, the art is done by Yusuke Murata. The story is done by One. And yeah, the art is phenomenal. And the action is really awesome. And the same person who wrote this also made Mob Psycho 100, which is like fantastic as well. And there's two seasons for the anime. And yeah, I can't wait to read more of One Punch Man and watch more One Punch Man because it's great. I remember one funny moment. So, Genos, the sidekick to Saitama, was just like, Saitama, how did you get so strong? And Saitama was just like, I did 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 jumping jacks, and then every day. And then Genos was just like, that's just normal basic exercise. There's no way you, you could get that strong just doing normal basic exercise, which is funny. All right, so next we got is Noragami Volumes 1 to 21. And the comedy is spot on in this. The art is fantastic. The action is awesome. And I was lovable characters. I love the matte covers to this. I like how the letters change color for every volume. And like I said, the art is fantastic. It's awesome. They have 22 volumes out for this. There's two seasons for the anime. Can't wait till we get a third season. And Yato is a great main character, and he's a, he's a god in this. And basically, he wants his own shrine and to be worshipped and have followers, and he doesn't have that. So he has to do like these daily tasks that a god probably wouldn't do, but he does anyways. And yeah, you meet Yukine, Hiyori along the way, and it's interesting seeing the the gods fight each other and clash, and just see the some basically just see them how they re interact with each other. And, yep, that is Noragami. So, moving on here, we got Food Wars 1 to 21. And I have volume 24 as well. And the manga ended for this with 36 volumes. There's five seasons in total. I own the first two seasons for the limited edition Blu-rays box sets that you can get. And I got them during a sell from Right Stuff Anime main character his name is Soma and he runs this diner with his dad ever since he was little and he goes to this elite cooking school and there's this thing called a shokogaki where he can battle students at any time and they can like have their um, cooking tools taken away or be expelled you have to have three judges and then there's a crowd that watches and it's really entertaining to see the different shokogakis that happen in this and the food is super appetizing and unique. And yeah, the volumes are super colorful and the art is great. And yeah, I can't wait to read the rest of this and watch the rest of Food Wars now that it's over. So yeah, that's it for this shelf. So let's move on to the next. All right, so next we got is Dragon Ball. And this series is just a lot of fun. It's very iconic. I love the art style. I love the characters like Bulma, Goku, Krillin, Master Roshi. And yeah, when you open this up, you get all the volumes here. And I got volumes 1 to 16, which is complete for Dragon Ball. And yeah, it has a lot of entertaining arcs, like the Red Ribbon Army, King Piccolo, the Martial Arts Tournament, with like Jackie Chun. And yeah, I would highly recommend checking out Dragon Ball if you haven't seen it. It's been around for a long time. It's very well known. And yeah definitely deserves the popularity and I really enjoy Dragon Ball I definitely want to get Dragon Ball Z the box set for that okay so moving down here we got Naruto box set 2 and this is volumes 28 to 48 and I need box set 1 and 3 to complete it and I was huge into Naruto in fourth grade I had like the headband the the knives I, I started collecting 
the manga for it when manga was like eight bucks. And yeah, Naruto is great. I love the art style. Boruto is going on right now, which is Naruto's son. And I've seen some of that. I haven't seen much of Shippuden though. I hear the pain arc is really great. So I will definitely have to read that. And yeah, that is Dragon Ball and my Naruto box set. Now I can show you the next box set. All right, so my next box set we got here is of Claymore. And we have Claire there. She's the main character. We got volumes one down to 27 and that is complete. Now there was an anime adaptation for this, but I didn't finish it because they caught up with the manga. So that would be great if we got a Brotherhood style remake of Claymore. In this, there's these Claymore fighters that fight Yoma, which are monsters which can disguise themselves as humans, basically. So yeah, the action's great, the art is awesome. I would highly recommend Claymore. All right, so moving on to the very last shelf here, we got Ruby. And this anime is done by Rooster Teeth, and you can watch it on Crunchyroll or, or on YouTube. And yeah, the anime is done through using CGI. The action's great, the openings are awesome, very catchy. And I like all the, the four girls in this series. So yeah, I would definitely recommend checking out the manga or watching the show. There's like seven seasons in total for it. And the next we got is Persona. And there's an awesome video game for this that it's based on. So hopefully it's just as good. All right, so next we got is Full Metal Alchemist Volumes 1 to 9. And this is the hardcover editions. And yeah, these are great. They look great on the shelf. They're very nice. And FMA has awesome world building. It definitely feels like a place you could actually travel to. And with really cool, interesting powers with like alchemy. And in this, there's this, these two boys named Ed and Al who are brothers. And they lose their mother, and they try and bring her back through using alchemy. And it goes wrong, and Ed loses his arm and leg. So yeah, Al loses his whole body, and then he's just this suit of armor. And yeah, FMA has a movie, a few movies. There has been a few different adaptations. One that was following the manga and then went off on its own way, started telling its own story. And then Brotherhood, which follows the manga really closely with no filler and that is an awesome anime i love winry mustang um ed al to name a few so yeah that is fma i would highly recommend it all right and then next we got is jojo we got jojo part one part two part three and then part four and we got josuke and crazy diamond his stand power. Part 4 is definitely my favorite part of JoJo so far. I started watching part 5. And yeah, I'll definitely plan on making a lot more stop motions with these figures. I have more on the way. So, yep, that is JoJo. It's very stylish. The action's awesome. It gets better in every part. And I really love it. And the music's awesome for it. Like, the openings are great. Alright, so moving down here, we got Demon Slayer. Volumes 1 down to 17. The anime is awesome for this. The main character, Tenjiro, um, loses his family, and except for his sister, who turns into a demon, and he wants to turn her back into a human. So he trains Fakadira to become a demon slayer, and yeah, that was definitely tough for him. And the action's intense, but it's really cool. And I can't wait to dive into reading the manga because the anime is awesome. There was a movie for this. Haven't seen it, but I definitely would love to. So yeah, that is Demon Slayer 1 to 17. And then we got Tokyo Ghoul 1 to 14, which is complete. And then we got Tokyo Ghoul Re Volume 1. And yeah, I when I first got this, I binge read it immediately. Tuka is definitely a favorite character of mine. And yeah, that is everything on this shelf. And then my last box set is the Bleach box set, which comes with volumes 1 to 21. And Love Orihime, Chad, Uru, 
You should go. They're all great characters. The art is fantastic in this. And we're going to get another anime adaptation for this with a Thousand Blood Year War arc. So that's awesome. Can't wait to see that. And there was another anime adaptation of this short manga made by the same creator called Burn the Witch. I haven't seen it, but you guys have to let me know how it is if you've seen it. And yeah, Bleach is great. The action's awesome. Really cool battles and fights that happen in this series. So yeah, that's all my manga. All right, so yeah, that is my manga collection for the end of 2020. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.